Basically, we get to pretend that we have a shorter uh, handlebar length than so we So the handlebar is pivoted around here, which is not actually what's turning. Whereas, if you mount the handlebars here, to turn the wheel that much, you'd have to have handlebars here. Which is not good. Which so, not like, yep. if you're doing minute adjustments, you know, you want to just be able to go. You'd have to go. Last yeah. year? Okay, so, here's the oval. You got the oval going around like this. And so, you know, the course was you start here, go around, then you go into the pit area. So you have like a sharp 90 degree turn this way, around, go around like this. On top of this, you have like 30 mile per hour wind going this way. So when you're coming around this turn, you have to deal with wind on this side of the bike, you know, pushing you this way. And you flip around and all of a sudden the wind is pushing you this way. So, you know, you're leaning into the wind turn around and then the wind takes you down. And so last year was, East Coast was really bad. I'm convinced that the wind is one of the reasons we beat Missouri s &T, that yeah, we beat them sure. simply by being lower to the ground and having better crosswind profile. Well, they, I don't think they accounted for crosswind at all, just judging by One of our big improvements last year was that we improved our aerodynamic performance in a crosswind. That our frontal coefficient of drag actually went up, which is bad, okay. but our crosswind coefficient of drag The went only down. thing we suffered was a chain that jumped off. No, no. The tail was broken. Oh. The team kept getting carbon the splinters, and we're like, what's going on? Why do we all have carbon splinters? And then we realized that the tail was all spiky. And that's why we had duct tape on the tail of the rock for a while. Yeah, so we put duct tape on. It was no big deal. Okay, the bike suffered no structural damage. In yeah. past years, we haven't been able to back pedal on because the chain Here. has to twist to get down to the front wheel. But with the U-joint, the chain does not have to twist, which means that we can actually back pedal, which is really, really so If you're running front wheel drive, uh -huh. you need to have the chain parallel to the fork. Otherwise, you wind up putting a moment on the wheel, and every time you apply power, they're going to have power steer, and they're going to have visibility issues. You knew that just by looking at the bike. We actually described the entire process of torque steer and how to minimize it in our current design report. It will be up after uh, competition. Probably I'm looking competition. It up like that. Um, um, oh, like the mark. No, it had the mark beat. Like, the mark, you can see the pavement about 100 feet away. I they could was, not see the pavement. It was 55. We tested it last year. Okay, so you can see the pavement and the mark. From what I've heard, they could not when they first did their Battle Mountain bike. So what? They do it at night and they can use the stars. And they were one of the fastest teams out there. Of course, being a first year team, they don't have much experience. Now, this isn't a horrible thing because they still did well, hmm. but their materials were such that when they fell over, they kept sliding for a long time. Um, also, they, they fell over like on every turn. I don't know if you'll be able to find it, but look up the roll on the floor. They had a, I've seen video of the bike going over and then proceeding to roll about five or six times. Olin has weird layout techniques that line them up with very circular profiles. They use balloons. They, last year they used a weather balloon. You're kidding. No. no. They built a giant sock for it to constrain it at certain positions, and it just inflated it. It's on our website. They put our their design report on our website, so you can actually see the entire like this is our giant sock. Um, painting is like well, the thing is, is it's always you do the school colors, but you have leeway on that. And yeah, you, can, you know, you can claim yellow as a rose color. Our bike is gonna probably gonna go as fast as the sun. So.